Greetings, Mount Wilson Church of the Brethren. Global Women's Project sends blessings to you on Peace Day and prayers for all your ministries and caring in the name of Jesus who guides us in the way of peace. For more than 40 years, Global Women's Project has had a simple, lofty, two-part mission focused on education for one another and support for women throughout the world. We seek to educate others in the Church of the Brethren and beyond about poverty and injustice and how our overconsumption directly contributes to others' suffering. A rotating group of volunteers, traditionally women, coordinate Global Women's Project. See anyone you recognize? Actually, four of these women are retired from GWP, and we have two new women starting this fall. Who would you recommend for our steering committee? Maybe yourself. My name is Anna Lisa Gross, and I'm kneeling on the far right. GWP invites you to live in solidarity with the rest of God's creation. Have you heard, live simply, that others may simply live? We strive to do so. And even in the ways our lives are not simple, we strive to be grateful for our luxuries and turn that gratitude into generosity. We share resources with partners throughout the world. The projects can be anything from sewing cooperatives to radio programming to scooters for social workers. They must be led by a woman or women who are from the community or country. They must be grounded in nonviolence and peace building. They must be helping women and can help others too. A typical yearly grant from GWP is $1,500 and women can do a lot with that money. The Cultural Academy for Peace in India has been working with women since the early 80s. They have shelters, one for women escaping domestic abuse and their families and another for teenage girls escaping sex trafficking. In those shelters, not only do they have a safe place to live and good food to eat, but they receive counseling, trauma healing, job training, and more. Cultural Academy for Peace doesn't just work with these women. They work with police, lawyers, government officials, psychiatrists, professors, and other professionals, training them in gender-based violence reduction and conflict resolution. CAP, Cultural Academy for Peace, is absolutely an agent of change in their whole society. We got to know CAP through Deanna Brown's Cultural Connections trips to India, which members and friends of Global Women's Project have traveled on. CAP shelters many girls who have been trafficked for sex. These photos are from a street theater they designed to raise awareness of human trafficking. Cap says, after drugs and arm trade, human trafficking is the third largest organized crime across the globe. As per government statistics, every eight minutes a child goes missing in our country. As a responsible citizen and as a human being, is it is important that we raise our voices against such atrocities. We need to stand together to bring an end to such cruelty. So let's move together in harmony and unity to build a world where there is peace and respect for life through nonviolent strategies. One of CAP's programs is Wheels for Women. A teenager who escaped sex trafficking living in Cap's Saki shelter was ready to start job training and she said she'd always wanted to be an auto rickshaw driver. Before Cap got her behind a wheel, they met with local, local auto rickshaw drivers and educated these men about gender-based violence and equality for women and they learned from the drivers about how this young woman could be safe as an auto rickshaw driver. Many male drivers were slow to warm up to women drivers, but now many more are supportive and more women have learned to drive auto rickshaws. In fact, this woman learned to drive an auto rickshaw 
developed new skills, practiced leadership, and now is president of her small town. In 41 years, GWP has supported projects throughout the entire world, sometimes a one-time grant, short-term partnerships, or in the last two decades, we've been focusing on longer-term relationships with the same small project partners so that they can grow their capacity in their own local context and not be looking for a, a new funding source year after year. You can see this map and learn more GWP history in an article in the December 2018 Messenger magazine. Church of the Brethren Women created GWP in 1978 because they were so inspired by a speech by Ruth Ann Knuckle Johansson. Ruth Ann wrote, liberation is a cooperative movement at the most fundamental level, as being born or giving birth reminds us. Therefore, by extension, we know that as members of the human family, none of us can be liberated alone because of the indwelling of the spirit, which makes us restless for reunion with God and which moves us toward community. We must join together to enable the birth of a more humane society here at home and to extend that same liberation globally. Ruth Ann's words are as true today as they were in 1978. Our faith, our scriptures, our Lord, our bodies teach us we can only be liberated together. Some of the conversations that we're having today about gender and equality are novel. And a lot of them sound like the same conversations from 1978. That our liberation is linked to all peoples is a timeless truth. See and download these free resources on our website. We have a brand new advent calendar and we're eager for congregations, Sunday school classes, families, or individuals to use it this December. This first advent calendar highlights the sewing project in South Sudan. You may have seen our Lenten calendar, which has been around for about 10 years. You can either use the paper version or you can get a daily page as an email or in Facebook. Every March 8th is International Women's Day. We have worship, resources, and stories that you at Mount Wilson might want to use. In May, we celebrate Mother's Day, but GWP invites you to give a donation in honor of your mother or a person who has nurtured you, rather than giving her more stuff. The Children's Giving Project, focusing on Sister Stella's work in Uganda, could be used in Sunday school or children's time any season of the year. We are grateful to Rachel, your worship team, and all of you at Mount Wilson Church of the Brethren for spending your peace day with women, men, and children around the world. May God delight in your worship and community building today and put your gifts to work in this world.